Chapter 1. The Squirrel Who Cried Wolf It's true that there was a wolf, or wolves. There may have been more than one. Maybe they were actually coyotes. Who knows? They all look pretty much the same to a squirrel. Huge, shaggy, terrible yellow eyes, red slobbery mouth with big, sharp, pointy teeth. And it's true that if you were a squirrel on the ground and a wolf, or a coyote, strolls into the neighborhood, running up a tree is the best plan. No one's going to argue with that. The problem was the squirrel called Jip. He kept yelling, Wolf! just to see everybody run. He had been doing it all day. He thought it was funny, and, a little bit, it made him feel important. Because most of the time, no one listened or paid any attention to him. But when he shouted, Wolf! Up the trees they all went. Except for Jed. Jip looked at him annoyed. Wolf! He shouted again. But Jed stayed put. He was busy. He had nuts to bury. Winter was coming. The first frost was all, was long gone, and the air felt cooler with each passing day. Leaves were falling into crispy yellow piles on the ground. Any day now, there would be snow. Just a little at first, then mountains of it. Wolf, 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 Jed said irritably. Is that the only word he knows? Jed did look around to see if there was a wolf, because he was irritated. But you just never know. Sure enough, no wolf in sight. He shook his head and went back to, the, back to his work, muttering and nattering. Wolf! shrieked Jip. Wolf, 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 Jed mutter, muttered. There is no wolf. And then the foolish Jip saw something. Not a wolf, but something very real, something dangerous. In his fright, he blurted out the first word that popped into his head, the one he had been saying all day. Wolf? Muttering and digging, Jed did not notice until the very last instant how the air above him had gone suddenly still and silent. Oh, he said in surprise, as a set of talons tightened around him and lifted him up, 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 past every whirl of branches, up above the treetops into the vast reaches of the sky. Cold air rushed over his face, forced his eyes to squeeze shut. Every muscle in his body tensed up. He may have peed a little bit. Who wouldn't? All four of his paws curled and clenched. His mind raced a mighty wave of fear rolled in and filled him up, and somehow, even though the roaring of the fear and the rushing of the air, he could hear a small voice inside him saying, This is it, then. Jip watched. The fearsome bird swoop down, snatch up his cousin Jed, and swoop back up. Hawk, he said, correcting himself. I should have cried, Hawk. So he did it now. Hawk, he cried. Hawk! Hawk!